everyone, Anna here, makeup creator, teacher, educator, specifically for people with hooded eyes, for oily and textured skin. I love everything makeup, okay? And today I have a ton of makeup that I bought myself or received in PR, and I wanna try it all. I have been seeing all of these products all over all of the social media, and I just need to test out on my oily and textured skin. Let's get right into it. I've already done skincare, applied a moisturizer, SPF, and some primer, so my skin is ready for makeup application and the first product is probably the one i'm most curious about tiktok made well not not tiktok made me buy it actually tati made me buy it i have been looking at this cushion foundation by tear tear for so long on my fyp i'm like okay michaela loves it she made it viral everyone loves it it looked gorgeous on everyone's skin but i haven't actually bought it until i saw tati's review and i mean i love her she can make me buy anything and i purchased this foundation off of amazon this is the tear tear mask fit red cushion foundation i got it in the shade 23 sand it might be too light for me i don't know i have not even opened it up yet it looks really gorgeous the packaging i'll give you that the packaging is amazing i believe this is a k beauty product which means that it's going to be full coverage probably good quality like i'm not gonna not gonna lie i do trust them oh this is is this korean yes this is korean beautiful gorgeous stunning so we are going to test this guy out on my oily and textured skin because i have not seen anyone with my skin type testing this out and reviewing this and i am curious i have tried cushion foundations before not the biggest fan of those i think i had like the armani one ages ago and maybe another like k-beauty vibe foundation so we'll see what i think about this one um okay i have some thoughts i have some thoughts so let me show you the little cushion right here again i'm in the shade 23 sand i'll see if i can give you a little swatch Ooh, that feels interesting that feels nice it's a good shade match for me i'm super happy i went with this one and nothing lighter or deeper really really pleased with that the applicator is very good it's very nice and when I picked up, like I tapped on this thing a little bit to do the side, picked up about this much, and then I could apply the foundation on the entire side of my face. So I, it doesn't really look like there is a lot in there, but there is, believe me. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So as you can see, the shade match is really nice. Why am I wearing these nice earrings when I'm doing this? Like who can tell me it's pretty much covering everything i love the coverage on this the finish is kind of glowy but like i don't feel nasty and greasy i don't feel bad at all even though i'm not a glowy finish lover it just looks really nice it smells really clean i do want to see how it wears it's not necessarily helping me with texture or anything but no foundation ever will the powder will help with that and the primers help with that as well so as you can see i'm still working in that one little swipe honestly a sleigh i am happy that i love it because i spent my own money on it whenever i receive something in pr and i don't like it i'm like well at least i got it for free but i spent my own money on this and i'm really enjoying it i do want to see how it looks like with powder obviously we are going to see that and i do want to see how it wears but so far like this initial application coverage 10 out of 10 the lightweight feeling same 10 out of 10 really really cool really pleased with this i like when overhyped products actually live up to their hype like actually not like the stupid mascaras that nobody cares about and then you know they don't do anything <laughs> No hate, no hate to mascaras, but like, or like stupid lip oils. Nobody cares about those. They're all the same. But this is like very interesting to me. This is, what do we think? All right, so that is it with our foundation for now. We're going to conceal. I don't have a new concealer to try out today, so I'm going to use the Milk Future Fluid. I just don't use this often so i wanted to give this guy another chance another try i'm just going to basically brighten things up because this foundation is kind of setting a little bit yellow not gonna lie it's not too bad it'll look fine in the end but a little bit a little bit yellow and i'm just gonna use my regular sponge to blend this in okay next product just came in mail i ordered it off of sephora the new say do bronze soft focus liquid bronzer i got mine in the shade salt i believe it's like the cool tone one which i'm super pumped for i don't know anything about this product so you're supposed to apply to the face and cheeks for an effortless bronzed effect okay okay we can do that so basically oh, this looks so cute so these are going to be 
kind of like bronzing or contour type of product but a liquid product with a doe food applicator and this is going to maybe be glowy not sure yeah it's do bronze it's got to be glowy and it's safe it's got to be glowy so i do love the original cream bronzer it is super super easy to blend out super nice for beginners but i want to say something liquid bronzers are so slept on especially if you have oil and textured skin like me they are super easy to blend out and they are not going to disrupt any of the layers underneath i'm thinking i'm gonna like this i'm gonna see if it's gonna be too glowy then probably not but if it's you know reasonably glowy then maybe i will like this let's give a little bit of a swatcheroo to be honest not the biggest fan of this applicator you can see how it's a little bit like all over the place and like there's so much product i don't know if i did something wrong hopefully not but let's try and swatch this very very beautiful cool tone shade this is what i need from my liquid bronzer literally this shade because every brand does everything very orange and i'm not about that i love the cool tone that's why i picked out this shade i think i think this is really nice okay so we're gonna start applying it right through here and it looks like it's a lot but this one has a pretty sheer formula kind of like the charlotte tilbury wands where it just blends out beautifully and it's not gonna look like you're overdoing it there is some glow but it's really really not looking anything like anything crazy no not glittery or anything it just looks really natural and honestly this shade is such a vibe it's a perfect perfect neutral bronze and look at how snatched my face looks after like this one minute of blending i think that this is gorgeous i honestly i love their cream bronzer but i have a feeling that i like this more Mostly because this is a really cool tone shade, blends out easily, and it's just so, so user-friendly. What do we- th wow. I'm so happy I picked this up. This is the second product that, like, I purchased myself in this video, and I'm, like, so pleased and so happy. I think that this looks just phenomenal. Obviously, we need a little bit of powder, and with powder, we're gonna look even better, but how pretty is this shade? Okay, this was surprisingly super amazing super wow super amazing product this is coming to my trip with me to my vacation with me in june i already know it it just looks so good should we apply a little bit on the nose i have not tried that out yet maybe we'll do like we'll grab like a little brush possibly a mirror on a you're blind and we're gonna try and do a little bit of a sculpting moment here is this a mistake maybe i'll do just like a little bit of a beauty blender because it just blends out like water well like charlotte tilbury's magic wand which is super cool we'll also do a little bit under the lip here this is a trick i use to make my lips look fuller this is this makes me feel like a model i think i did something wrong with the packaging here because it's a little maybe you shouldn't be putting it like this all right, I'll keep it up upright. Let's move on to cream blush. I don't have a new, new cream blush, but I do have a semi-new launch, and I believe I have not tried this shade yet. This is by Give Beauty. This is their Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint. So this is another cheek glowy product. And I tried the lilac shade and maybe another burgundy shade. Oh, are we ready for this? I don't think so. This matches my wall, like my little sign there. All right, well, we're just gonna do it. like. But what's the worst thing that can happen, right? I'm gonna grab my brush and start blending this out. This is nice and pigmented, kind of blending out just like say, meaning that it's not gonna be, you see, it's not gonna be overly pigmented, even though I applied quite a bit of product. I like that. And this is also a super glowy product, but I use powder on, on everything, so I don't really care that much. It's not going to be looking greasy or anything when I'm done with this makeup look. Yeah, this is super, super pretty. I love these. The thing that I love most about these is that they came out with six blush shades and then six lip gels of the same shades. So it's super cute that you can match them or mix and match them. I just, I love, I love everything gift, to be honest. And another product that is kind of like a cheek product, I got sent these bronzers, not bronze, bronzers, glow drops by Burst. And they have different shades. As you can see, this one is kind of pinkish. This is the shade Sheer Rose Gold. And this one is more, 
more kind of deep bronze. This shade is sheer bronze. So I used this shade to kind of bronze up my arms a little bit, just a little bit today, but I did use it yesterday and like it gave me like a bit of a tan even. I really, really enjoyed this one. I've never tried any type of self tan or bronzing drops or anything, not Drunk Elephant, not Elf Cosmetics, nothing like that. Obsessed with these. This is the pink version of that. So I was thinking maybe we could try a little bit of this on my cheeks just to kind of, ooh, there's like a little bit of a gold undertone there. Just to kind of bring some more glow over there like we need more. Obviously we don't, but like eh, we're playing with makeup, right? This is super, super sheer as well. Kind of like watery. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> Did I mix it well? It's kind of like... The thing is that it's not sticky and that's all that matters. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit. It's not really doing much because I already have blush there, but for the sake of the experiment, we did it. We tried this out. I have this product by Merit Beauty. They sent over their Day Glow Highlighting Balm in, in the shade Solstice. So I'm not sure if this is like a highlighter or what is this. 2024 is when all of these products can be used for so many different things. All right, let's do a little bit of swatch and then we'll make a decision. Yeah, this is definitely not a bronzer, but also not a highlighter really. But what I can do is I can pick it up on my finger. Wait and then kind of apply it in between blush and bronzer, I want to say, for just a little bit more of a glow. And I am fully aware that I'm looking like a disco ball. We are going to change that very soon when we apply powders. All these products are kind of working out really nicely with each other is what I am trying to say. And the face makeup is looking beautifully. Another thing about this tier tier foundation is that I've applied it like half an hour ago, but nothing has moved and I have not even set it yet, which is pretty freaking cool. I also really was not expecting to be loving it this much, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so One Size Beauty sent over a very, very cute package with three of their new powders and I do own their pink powder. It's a little bit too deep for me. So I'm actually very, very excited about this collection because it includes three different shades. The Ultra Peach, which I'm thinking is going to be lighter than pink and it's going to work for me. Then we have the Rich Peach and Marigold. Obviously these two are not gonna work for me at all. I'm going to give those away, but look at this beautiful, gorgeous campaign, absolutely stunning. And I know that this powder is like one of the most loved powders. So I'm just super excited to be trying out a shade that I think is going to work for me finally. Cause with the pink powder, I'm like, I kind of love it, but also at the same time, it kind of doesn't really suit me. So I don't really know. So we're going to be trying out the Ultra peach shade today. This definitely looks lighter than the pink and I'm super excited. Looks really good. I love their packaging. They also sent over some puffs, which I'm so excited about because I love the small little puffs for the under eye area. I always, always, always need something like that. And the bigger puffs obviously are just super, super cute. So I'm excited to try these out as well. Team, we're onto something here. This is the before. And this is the after. I think I finally found my shade in the One Size Beauty powder. In case you were wondering, these are the two other shades. So if you have a deeper complexion and yellow undertones, you might benefit from the shade Marigold. If you have a deeper complexion with neutral undertones, Reach Peach. These are also super, super gorgeous. But this, when I tell you, I am so happy to have finally found a shade of this powder that works for me because I was really, really wanting to try their pink powder and then it turned out to be too deep so i couldn't really form a real opinion on that powder but this is just perfect for me so what i actually did is well first i'm gonna get rid of any creasing and i'm gonna grab the bigger puff because honestly it's also good enough to go into the under eyes so we will do just that set the under eyes first and you will see the immediate blur this powder is gorgeous and then I'm just going to pick it up on a bigger surface of this puff and start pressing that in and it's just taking away all of the shine and all of the oils and it's just setting it beautifully to a matte finish like literally everything I ever want from a powder and now the face is just looking so so pretty I love this 
I absolutely love this. Like there's still a little bit of glow. Like you can see that the skin looks healthy and real. Like there's a little bit of glow peeking through from that blush and that bronzer. But overall, everything is mattified and really, really set in place. I absolutely love this powder. I, wow. Okay, we're going to finish off the face makeup with a couple of products that are not new in my collection. This is the bronzer by Pat McGrath in the shade Nude Bronze? Nude? Nude Honey. Yeah, it's my favorite shade and my favorite bronzer. So that say bronzer has really sculpted my face, but this is going to bring that warmth into my face. And that's why I'm doing just a little bit, as you can see, a little tap, tap, tap to kind of bring it just basically back to re-intensify everything after we have powdered the face. All right, in terms of a blush, we have a pink glowy blush, so I thought that it would be a good opportunity to get out one of my favorite blushes. This is the Dibs Beauty VAP Pink Blush Duo, absolutely stunning product. And I'm going to mix the two and just kind of re-intensify everything. This is a glowy cheek. This is a beautiful glowy cheek. So this is the glow that I don't mind and kind of like a blush, blushy glow that I don't really mind. Whereas like if we're talking about the Rare Beauty Powder Blush, that one is more glittery, so I can't really wear it like this on its own, but this I don't mind. I think it looks really, really pretty. I think I had another, well, first of all, let's do a bit of a setting spray. I have a new one from Moira. This is their Ultra Matte Setting Spray. I just really loved the color, to be honest with you, this hot pink. I typically enjoy Moira setting sprays. They're not my favorite, but they're good enough. And this one is going to be an all-day mattifying and shine-proof formula. So far, so good. They also sent over something new. So I'm a huge fan of their highlighters. This one is going to be their Dreamlight Highlighter Balm in the shade 2. It's glam. So I'm thinking that this is going to be cream because they have really gorgeous powder highlighters in this packaging that are some of the most beautiful highlighters in the world. Okay, so let's see what these are all about. This is my last new product for the complexion. Absolutely stunning. Now see, if I didn't know that it's a highlighter, I would think that it's eyeshadow. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, it is creamy to the touch. And it's so stunning. It's like a little pearly like sparkle. This looks like Space Cowboy. This looks like Urban Decay Space Cowboy. Wait, let's put it on my cheeks. That's a little too glittery. See, I would want this on my eyes though. I would really want this on my eyes, I think, because it's just loose sparkles. You know what I mean? But it's really gorgeous. I'm gonna keep this in case I wanna apply it on my eyes or later. But yeah, it's a little bit too sparkly for like a highlight. Kind of ruins my look, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. I'm happy I tried it because now I know that I'm gonna enjoy it all over my lid like see what i mean it kind of looks like the uh kind of looks like this although this is not cream this is powder but this looks like a cream version of this dupes okay let's talk a little bit about lip makeup and eye makeup because we've tried so many things for complexion and i liked most of them to be honest so for lips we have a new collection from What's Up Beauty, they sent over three of their new lipsticks and this is from their Egyptian Queen collection. And when I tell you these are the most beautiful lipsticks I've ever, and you have ever seen in your entire life. So I'm gonna show you one of them. Like, do you see the embossment of that? This is absolutely incredible. This is artwork. I don't know why they made lipsticks like that because it makes me not wanna use it, but also the shades are so beautiful, so I wanna use it. So extremely, extremely gorgeous. I cannot even begin to tell you how gorgeous these are. So that was the shade Ank. I don't know how to say that. These are probably Egyptian gods or something. Eye of Ra. This is going to be the lightest one, which is my favorite i think because i love light peachy shades like this oh, and it goes all around incredible incredible artwork i what they do with their products and all of their products are extremely high quality so seeing that plus the vision is just makes me fall in love with the brand and then a shade seba no actually this one is my favorite right is this lighter than the other one i have no idea but this is also super pretty i feel like the entire collection is just absolutely phenomenal they also came out with some eyeliners we'll look at those a little bit later but let's go ahead and do a little bit of a lip so i picked out just my regular schmegular natasha denona lip liner in the shade julia and we're gonna line my lips i just wanted kind of like a neutral shade that would go with one of those 
So we're gonna do this. Okay, so I've made an executive decision to swatch two of these and then apply the lighter one. And then the third one I'm gonna leave for short form content. Okay, so we're gonna swatch the shade Ang, ang, ang. This is going to be a more warm and deep tone. Not necessarily very deep, but a deeper tone. This is a matte formula, which I like to see that. I like to see that. It looks like it will be a long wear formula. And the shade that I'm going to be wearing today is going to be Eye of Ra. Really gorgeous, kind of like a peachy shade from the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is more of a rosy peach, if you will absolutely gorgeous let's see what it looks like on the lips it's also kind of like matte and really really pigmented so it's not going to be your sheer lipstick i'm so used to like lip oils and sheer lipsticks in 2024 that i'm excited to see just like a bullet lipstick that is pigmented and is matte beautiful shade I feel like it works well with this lip liner. It's super easy to apply. It's matte, but it's very lightweight. I do not feel it at all. And I feel like it's super, super comfortable. I love this. Oh, I'm so wearing one of these for my date on Saturday. This is gorgeous. This is, oh wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. See what I mean? Now it's ruined, but it's made me look beautiful. Oh my God, what's up beauty, you did it again. Forever and ever in all of your creativity and just the attention to detail and the quality. The quality is like, this is perfection. This is what I need from a lipstick, absolutely in love. For the eyes, what's up beauty sent over their eyeshadow palette. This is not new, but I don't have this in my collection. So it is new to me. This is their Desert Monsoon eyeshadow palette and they have amazing quality. I have two of their other eyeshadow palettes. Their shimmers, their mattes, everything is absolute perfection. It is made in, I think it's made in Italy. Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. It's made in Italy. So these are just absolutely amazing phenomenal so this is not new but they did send over their eyeliners that are new and these are from the same collection as the lipsticks the egyptian collection these are in the shade kemet and nebu i believe these are like dual chrome bond like liners i have not even opened these yet these the packaging is like really heavy you know luxurious that's what it feels like and this royal blue color is absolutely beautiful all right let's swatch these yes let's swatch these Oof, stunning beautiful green very very vibrant i hope the camera can pick it up green shimmery eyeliner and then we're gonna go with the next shade oh this is just black oh awesome oh, fun yeah we can use that so we'll try this one out today all right i'm gonna let that sit for a minute to see how long wear that is and we're going to apply eyeshadow primer and do something with this eyeshadow palette i don't want to do anything crazy just a pretty makeup look but I do want to use the new shades and new lighters. So I'm using the Beauty Creations eyeshadow primer, one of my favorites, and I'm going to blend it out with a brush. Maybe something with the gold, actually. That's what I was looking at. It's like more like a green gold. Yeah, maybe with this shade. It looks phenomenal. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush by Wata Beauty because they also have amazing, spectacular brushes. I always, always talk about their brushes. And we're going to go with the shade Joshua Tree and apply it through the crease kind of above my natural crease obviously because oh that's that is pigmented way more pigmented than in the pan a little goes a long way which is really good they're also very blendable you can see that it's italian formula and i love that there's this vibrant pink matte here i just noticed it i think that's so fun this palette like you could do a really cute like pink and purple look with this but we're going for neutral kind of brown with a gold or like a green gold shimmer. I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line as well. Not even sure if I want to go in the deeper shade, but I do want to apply something in my inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with the shade, this one. Oh, this one that looks like just a regular highlighter shade. Yes, super pretty. I will pop that in the inner corner and then get into the goods because I desperately want this shade sun all over my lid. It looked like gold. Yeah, it looks like a gold to green dual chrome. Absolutely phenomenal. They have amazing shimmers. I love, 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 love their palettes. Their palettes are very beginner friendly, I feel like. Like it's a one and done type of look palette because I just used two shades and it looks like it's a professionally done makeup look with a million different shades. It's so, so stunning. Cannot recommend this enough. Really, really beautiful 
indie brand. All right, let's get into the eyeliner. I'm gonna check. Ooh, that one is a dual chrome. Let me check. Yeah, see, they're not going to move anywhere, which is good. One thing that I'm concerned about is that I'm not really used to using liners like this, the, like the brush tip liners. I'm used to marker liners, but I'm not gonna breathe and we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. At least I know that it's not gonna move anywhere, right? That's what's important. So we're just gonna create, I'm taking a black shade, which is the shade Kemet, and I'm going to create a line along my lashes. Really, really pigmented, that's what I wanna say. Like the black is there, it's not just deep gray. And then we're gonna create a bit of a wing, I think. It's also like super liquidy, so I think I'm gonna need to like let it set for about 30 seconds. Yeah, I think this kind of baby wing is actually, it, it was actually easy to do. I don't know why I was complaining. It's actually super easy to work with. I think a lot of people like these applicators and a lot of people like the NYX liner, their Epic liner, and I don't like that one. It doesn't work for me, but this is just so easy. I'm trying to do the inner corner. I think that was a mistake. It's just difficult for me to work with these because I'm not used to it. But honestly, this was good. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry, do the other side and come back for some mascara action. I think the makeup is looking super good so far. I actually have any mascara to try out today. This is the Lash Paradise Mascara by L'Oreal. I've never tried this before and I placed an order at Target. I ordered like three mascaras and they put this as a gift and I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank you. So I'm pumped to try this out. However, first I wanna apply my Maybelline Sky High Mascara Primer because I've been loving this technique. This just makes my lashes that much longer. I don't know, I just use it with any mascara to be honest. So we're gonna do that, but only on the upper lashes. Okay, let's get into this mascara. It's so lightweight. I don't know why I've never tried it. I think it went viral at some point. It looks really nice. I love L'Oreal mascaras typically. Is it brown? What shade did they send me? No, black brown. Oh yeah, it's not completely black. Oh fun. Thanks Target. <laughs> it's not really giving me volume, but it is separating them and giving me length. So I'll take that. I've also decided I wanted brown in my waterline, so I popped in the Laura Mercier in the shade Coco, which is my favorite brown liner. This looks really good. Last thing I want to talk about today. I have just received a box with cats in PR from Half Magic Beauty. And not only was it a box with cats, it also included furry sunglasses, a little pink claw clip, which just looks phenomenal and their new launch all right so they're coming out with a new lip product which is called these have not yet been released so i just like i don't know anything about these these are called lip snuggle look at the packaging i am obsessed the creativity of this oh my god all of the shades are beautiful neutrals and this is going to be a lip balm that is going to be plumping and hydrating beautiful packaging so they're kind of small little guys but they look really really cute i desperately need to try one of these right now so let's go ahead and try one i can't take myself seriously like this so we're gonna try the shade say purr let's open this up i have not yet tried these i don't know what the formula oh that looks beautiful let's apply these right on my lipstick Ooh, that's nice. This is kind of like, not really sheer. I wanna say it gives some color. I'm gonna try one for a short video without like any lipstick to see the actual pigmentation. Okay, let me take a look. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, that's such a nice shade. This is actually like a perfect shade for this lip combo. It's a cool toned, kind of nudey, mauve -y pink beautiful not sure what i feel about this packaging it's fun and all but now i'm gonna want to close it and it's kind of like gross and dirty so it's it's when these sponges are involved it's always gonna be like that but i adore half magic beauty this is not gonna be a glossy gloss this is just going to be a comfortable lip color that's what i feel like non-sticky comfortable very very wearable super cute super cute launch just wow i need to try another one i'm gonna film a video right after this but let me collect my thoughts first okay so here is the final result we have tried a ton of products today and one pair of sunglasses <laughs> unexpectedly i 
kind of loved everything. I don't know how it happened. I kind of loved everything. I do not necessarily care for the little glow blush drops. Those I'm not the biggest fan of. As well as the Moira highlighter, I feel like will be better as an eyeshadow topper. In fact, let us let me just prove my point. Let me prove my point. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to just apply it over here. Like we don't already have enough glitter, but it's just, it's beautiful on the eyes. This is how I'm going to wear these. I don't care. I feel like this is an eyeshadow topper and that's what it's supposed to be but anyways the foundation was a top hit like no creasing no nothing top hit amazing i'm so happy i picked this up i love finding foundations that work for my oily and textured skin and this is definitely it also kind of really cute packaging really beautiful really sleek really fun to just kind of travel with it probably easy to pack it's not like necessarily small but quite easy to pack i did absolutely love say do bronze incredible incredible for beginners definitely oil and textures get approved it looks beautiful it stays beautiful the one size powder was another hit and these are kind of the products that i thought I might not like as much as I do in love with this. It still looks matte. It looks beautiful. There's no creasing going on. It's so full coverage, but not cakey. I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, even though I am really really beautiful i absolutely loved the what's a beauty lipsticks in fact so much so that i'm gonna keep one of these in my vanity and wear it on a daily definitely wear the third one that i haven't swatched or tried on saturday for a date night the extremely comfortable formula this is my new favorite bullet lipstick there you have it liner not so much only because of the way i am i prefer marker liners and that's just who i am i love the pigmentation and how it's transfer proof so if you like liners like nyx like that epic liner you might enjoy this one because it's it's, you know amazing quality not to say anything bad about nyx but this is better quality okay let's just put it that way the lash parody mascara oh yeah this is this is like okay but i'm a mascara snob i don't like any mascara so this is okay the new lip snuggles by half magic i will have to try it without any lip products but so far really interesting unique comfortable wearable cute like the presentation and everything i just love half magic beauty this is so fun this has been so much fun i wow really liked everything i like the look as well let me know what you think in the comments below i will share everything in the description box all of the links to everything i am wearing on my face maybe to my earrings too aren't they so beautiful <laughs> thank you so much for watching you guys i will see you in the next one bye